Main track stopping to start us off here in New Orleans. They're in the gate. Away and running at the fairgrounds. And Bodie Bodie was awkwardly away. Has drifted back to a long looking last. Sharp start for Charlestown. So Charlestown's come out on the lead here for Carlos Marquez in front of old Stud Muffin, who's in pursuit. Yankee Hell Captain the Orange Cap. Then for Dunville, who was reluctant to load. Fourth toward the inside and joined by Dignified and Crafty, who's making a bid as they go past the half mile pole. Then pack the pulpit with Mule Train in between horses. Popeye is well out into the track at the three and a half. And after a poor start, Bodie Bodie trails the maiden sprint here in the Friday opener. The quarter sloppy track, 22.36 seconds now at the two and a half. And it's Charlestown. The first favorite leads. Charlestown in front of Old Stud Muffin. Looking to stay Charlie's pace. Charlie's Town spins them in from Old Stud Muffin, who's wide into the home run with toward the inside, dignified and crafty. Yankee Hellcat. Verdun has dropped back. That was the one reluctant to load. But it's Charlie's Town. Charlie's Town has slipped away into this final furlong from Old Stud Muffin, who drifts near the stand side rail. Late bid by Bodie Bodie from the back, getting up into third, but close to home with Carlos Marquez. Charlie's Town. Charlie's Town takes it. Gate to wire from Old Stud Muffin. Bodie Bodie third and pack the pulpit gain fourth from Yankee Hellcat and Dignified and Crafty. Second of the day at the fairgrounds, all in line. And the rock. Even start. Chambliss, Hop Leroy showing good speed. Right there, Custom Cat and Gallant Star. Dashes from the rail now for Adam Biskitza to take the top. And right there is Von Dom too. So it's Gallant Star. Out in front for the run to the half mile pole from Von Dom. Far outside, Custom Cat has the white cap. Hot Leroy in between horses. And toward the inside is Chambliss, the leading quintet going past the half mile. Then nearest the inside is Thunk from on the outside. The Delta Invader steal it back. We trail back then to Kenley's Song, who's running second to last. And beaten for speed, Pat me down trails the state bred sprint. The quarter and 22.12 seconds coming toward the quarter pole. It's Gallant Star from a looming Custom Cat. As Custom Cat starts the game now on Gallant Star as they come for home. Top of the stretch past the quarter pole in 45.96 seconds. It's Gallant Star in the clutches of Custom Cat with one furlong to go. Of the far outside, Thunk is charging hard. Chambliss between horses. Von Dom toward the inside. Hot Leroy, but coming past the 16th with Jose Rocalme. It's Custom Cat who has a narrow advantage on a game Gallant Star who's battled back for the biscuit. Gallant Star thwarts Custom Cat through this daunting fairground stretch. Thunk was third, Hot Leroy and Chimbleth. They're in the gate. And they're off. There's Fawn flashing speed. Whiskey Gent holds the rail. Dover straight in a prominent position. And Mr. J. McKay will be a bit wide as they enter the clubhouse turn with Gabriel Salles. It's Fawn, a 34 to 1 front runner. Seven furlongs to go. And Fawn out in front of a tracking Whiskey Gent. A break of two then to Dover straight in third with Flying Fred on the white blinkers against the rail. On the outside is Mr. J. McKay. It's a break of five more than to Tonal's Impact, who's running second to last. And Unorthodox trails the maiden here on a sloppy track. The opening quarter was 23.93 seconds, but now with five furlongs to run. And it's Fawn who fronts them. Fawn out in front as Adam Schizza keeps Whiskey Gent close. Flying Fred looks to make ground at the wet track rail. Dover straight in fourth. Mr. J. McCain off the pace today in fifth with four furlongs to go. It's a break of three more to Tunnel Impact, who in turn has four on Unorthodox, is being asked to pick up now from last. Half mile for Fawn, 47.61 seconds. A long odds leader, it's Fawn, with inside three to go. From Whiskey Gent, Flying Fred looks to draw in now for Raylo Gutierrez. Flying Fred is being asked to pick up Fawn and Whiskey Gent coming toward the quarter pole. Total impact on winds on the far side for Deshaun Parker. Mr. Jay McKay from Dover Street and Unorthodox. Three quarters in one minute, 12. Point 67 seconds. Fawn still. Fawn holding on to a short lead for Gabe Saez. Charging now. Here's Total Impact, who's trying to slowly reel Fawn in past the 16th. But Fred is a one pace third. It's Total Impact up to take the lead with just yards to go from Fawn. Flying Fred will be third best. Total Impact on top. Fawn was second. Flying Fred third. Unorthodox. Last of fourth. They've settled all in line. 
floppy track. And they're off. And there's just my imagination. Galaxy 36, the rail. The complete court comes up on the outside, but it's just my imagination. Who's run away to the lead here for Aubrey Green in front of the complete court. Galaxy 36 showing positional pace in third. Emmanuel Nieves and Platinum Sky first run of 2022. Fourth past the half mile. Then toward the inside. Oops. My bad. Commercial flash and looking to move up in between horses. And the orange silks kick and kiss. The opening quarter was 22.86 seconds at the two and a half. It's just my imagination who leads with the rail to the complete court up alongside. Galaxy 36, Platinum Sky being uh, put to pressure now. Then toward the inside, oops, my bad, from Kick and Kiss End. Commercial flash last year in the Phillies Mayor Sprint to win the final for long and a half. Just my imagination. Tackled at both sides by the complete court and Galaxy 36 tight at the rail looking to punch through. Final 16th. Just my imagination in a scrappy battle, Galaxy 36. Just my imagination. Galaxy 36 with Aubrey Green. Just my imagination on the wire. Close. A nose there with Galaxy 36. Photo finish. The complete court finished third. Good luck with all your bets. And the gate. They're off. Wish upon a star. Charlie Michael toward the inside. Now, now, man. Now there's Peachy Mandate with an early move as they enter the clubhouse turn. It's Charlie Michael joined toward the inside by Now Now Man in the black cap, who's vying for this lead with seven furlongs to run, and Peachy Mandate is just off the duel. A break of four more then to Wish Upon a Star in between horses, who's joined out wide by Joe Boy, six furlongs from home. Bitsy's other half with the rail. Grace Sloan is settled while second to last, and Bourbon Street tap and trails as these Louisiana breads go up the back. Quarter and 23.52 seconds for the run to the half mile pole. And it's Charlie Michael who's taken the front for Deshaun Parker from Down Now Man with Peachy Mandate running in third. A five length break to Wish Upon a Star. Three quarters length to Joe Boy. Bitsy's other half the rail. Grace Sloan is wide. Bourbon Street Tappan remains last. Half mile in 47.06 seconds. They round the far turn. Charlie Michael carries a three length lead to three for longs out from Now Now Man. Peachy Mandate is third, but under pressure. Wish upon a star. Bourbon Street Tappan makes a move toward the inside now for Jose Raquelme. Wide Grace Sloan. Joe Boy and Bitsy's other half. Charlie Michael first to face the Friday Faithful. Charlie Michael leads past the quarter pole. In one minute, 13.16 seconds. Charlie Michael, Now Now Man. Bourbon Street Tappan, a steady advance up the rail. One for long to go. Bourbon Street Tappan has bounded up to the front. From Now Now Man, who's just edged into second. From Charlie Michael, Grace Sloan, and Wish Upon a Star left to battle it out with Jose Raquelme. Bourbon Street Tappan. Bourbon Street Tappan on top. One by eight. Now Now Man second, Grace Sloan third, and Wish Upon a Star finish fourth. Set. And they're off. Jill Elizabeth broke sharp. There's Dream Music who dashes out toward the front for Brian Hernandez Jr. And Vinegar Veggies is in pursuit of Dream Music who leads them to a half mile from home. With Race the Entire up into third, joined toward the inside by Jillian Elizabeth in this leading quartet as they enter the far turn. It's a break of four more to the newcomer Abby the Bulldog. Toward the inside is Bell Aria, who's running second to last and beaten for speed. Cajun two-step trails. The maiden three-year-old Phillies sprint as they round the far turn. It's Dream Music in front coming toward the quarter pole. Dream Music right there, Vinegar Veggies in between horses and on the outside is Race Day Attire as they line up coming for the quarter pole. Vinegar Veggies, Dream Music the Rail, Race Day Attire charging hard on the outside. Then Jenny Elizabeth Bell Aria for outside is Abby the Bulldog and an outrun. Cajun two-step, there's one for long to go with Brian Hernandez Jr. for the Rail, Dream Music, and Dream Music in full fight for the finish. Has pulled clear from Vinegar Veggies, who will be second best to Dream Music, who comes back with a maiden win. Vinegar Veggies was second, third photo, Abby the Bulldog with race day attire. Ready. They're off and sprinting. Zap Motion was quick out of there. He's got this. Up on the outside run, Pat. The gray old hickory now with a rail bid for Jose Vega. 
It's Old Hickory, who's going head-to-head -head here with Zap Motion, who's narrowly in front for Jose Roquelme, as Kobe Hernandez sends Run Pat up on the outside now with a strong move to take the lead. It's Run Pat who has taken the lead past the half mile from sharp starting Zap Motion. Old Hickory has dropped back toward the inside. Is Super Cool at the three and a half? He's got this wide. Is Jelly Nugget and Runaway Ready trails the maiden. The quarter was 21.64 seconds. These leaders coming toward the quarter pole. Run Pat tracked by Zap Motion, who's second by five. Super Cool straightens away in third. He's got this wide. Jelly Nugget. We trail back two. Runaway Ready and Old Hickory. Flash brief speed, but is dropped back. Top of the lane. Half mile 45.11 seconds with Colby Hernandez. It's Run Pat. Run Pat with one for long to go and uh, uh, took an awkward step there. And uh, that gives the advantage to Zap Motion, who's back up to the front from Run Pat, who tries to fight on. Super Cool is third. It's Zap Motion. Run Pat. Zap Motion for Jose Raquelme. Zap Motion scores. Three quarters length to Run Pat, who took an awkward step there during the furlong grounds. Super Cool. He's got this. Jelly Nugget. Runaway Ready. Old Hickory. Track good. They're in the gate. Verrill, order for Porky, Silver Embai, Takafumi, and my Barelli has drifted back to last, well settled by Santos Sanjor, but it's Silver Embai the rail for Manuel Nieves, and with Mitch Morrow, a keen order for Porky, right outside the leader's flank as Silver Embai leads into the clubhouse turn. With Orlando Mejica, Takafumi in third here as they go to the back of the track, and in the Red Silks, my Barelli trails, six lengths from leader to last. And Silver M.I. enjoys the lead. It's Silver M.I. in front here by a length to order for Porky, who's second on the outside with the orange cap. Takafumi in third, and a break of four more to Mai Barreilly, who trails the quartet. The first two of nine for longs, good track. 24.95 seconds. It's Silver M.I. with order for Porky up alongside Silver M.I. by a neck to order for Porky as Takafumi looks to draw in from third, and Mai Barreilly remains last of the four. Order for Porky outside of Silver Emli. Now head to head, four furlongs to go. Takafumi and Mai Barreilly. Half mile in 50.37 seconds. They round the far turn. Silver Emli narrowly. Order for Porky on the outside to three furlongs from home. It's order for Porky, who's forged just ahead. Silver Emli. Driven toward the inside to stay by Emmanuel Nieves as Mai Barreilly is coming with a run now for Santos Sanjor and Orlando Mojica and Takafumi with his two wide bid. It's order for Porky after three quarters in one minute 15.17 seconds. Order for Porky bracing for Mai Barreilly. Takafumi will need to lift in the final furlong and Silver Emli has dropped back to last. Mai Barreilly. Order for Porky against the rail fights on. It's My Bar Riley narrowly from Order for Porky. Takafumi will be third best. It's My Bar Riley. Order for Porky. My Bar Riley. My Bar Riley. A hard fought win over Order for Porky through this good fairground stretch. Takafumi third and Silver Emli was last of the four to finish. Alan Black Cat Lacoma Memorial, our Saturday headliner. Last of the day on the gate. And Verrill. Looking hot, showing speed, Mayavani, Oak Hill Senorita has the white cap and the gray. Reckless Sergeant going for an early bid, while Say Another Prayer holds the rail for Traylon Albert as they enter the clubhouse turn. It's Say Another Prayer. Say Another Prayer, a long odds leader in front of Oak Hill Senorita with Reckless Sergeant up in a third. They have six furlongs to go. Looking hot, broke sharp, now in fourth. Mayavani between horses fifth with Lucky Linda a wide sixth, making this backstretch run. It's a break of five more to Bad Gal Riri, Julia's Chance. And after a couple of furlongs, Jerry Lou trails the maiden mile here in the funny finale. The quarter 24.57 seconds at the four and a half. It's Say Another Prayer. Right there is Oak Hill Senorita. And Reckless Sergeant strides up on the far outside. Lucky Linda, a close fourth, looking hot against the rail. Heading toward the far turn. Mayavani is eight from the lead. Then Bad Gal Riri, Julia's Chance. And Jerry Lou remains a remote last. Half mile, 49.18 seconds. These Louisiana breads round the far turn. And it's Oak Hill Senorita, who took the lead here for Joel Dominguez. Oak Hill Senorita leads by three as Lucky Linda now sets off in pursuit for Mitchell Murrell as they swing for the short stretch. Looking hot with on the outside, Bad Gal Riri, Reckless Sergeant has dropped back in fifth. 
It's Oak Hill Senorita who leads for home. Three quarters, one minute 15. Point 27 seconds. Lucky Linda bears down on Oak Hill Senorita. Bad Gal Riri is up in the third from looking hot fourth. And then Reckless Sergeant, Jerry Lou from the back, and Maya Vani, they're close to home. It's Oak Hill Senorita. Oak Hill Senorita has won it from Lucky Linda. Bad Gal Riri third, and a first line photo for fourth. Jerry Lou slipped through inside of looking hot, then Reckless Sergeant.